Hello everyone, this is Jason Wood for Geek Sakes, and today I'm going to go over with you on what it takes to become a Cisco Certified Entry Networking Technician, a CCENT. This is the entry level exam from Cisco. Uh, this is the prerequisite to any Cisco exam, CCNA, CCMP, anything you can think of. This is the prerequisite for it. Um, it's very entry level. I mean, meaning you don't need a whole lot of um, startup equipment to do this. You should be able to take and pass this test but very little money out of your pocket. I'm talking ballpark fifty dollars. Um, the first thing you do, I would do, is go to the net to the website and just kind of look at the overview, to look at the syllabus, and just to get an idea of what's expected you to know on the exam. And when you're ready, you can take a practice test. And when you're really ready, you can actually take the test, where you can schedule for the test. So the next thing is to actually pick your method of study. I prefer video over the traditional textbooks. That's just me. I can listen to a person take notes and listen to a person again take more notes. And when you listen to a video or listen to someone speak over and over, you can kind of know what they're saying. You, you almost memorize it. And believe it or not, if you memorize something, you know it. It's just a matter of you applying it and putting it to use. So I did my research and I settled on Chris Bryant and Jeremy Chair. When it came to CCNT, I stuck with Chris Bryant because he is a pretty pretty direct, factual type of person. He didn't tell personal stories or do anything like that. So I found myself to being drawn to him more than Jeremy. Uh, and also Chris, when it came to subnetting and doing binary math, his his methods were exact. They were easy to follow and I was able to get binary and subnetting no problem. Jeremy, like I said, he is a very fun guy, very entertaining but to me he just deviated from the subject matter just a little too much in this video series uh, I've had him on the CCNA voice series and he did an awesome job his stories were very entertaining so I have no bias towards either one of them I think they're both great instructors but when it came to the CCNT I'm just telling you that I chose Chris Bryant as far as the equipment I used I didn't really have any equipment to use I, I downloaded Packet Tracer uh, now, Packet Tracer is not something that you can just easily get. It is really de dedicated for Cisco Network Academy people, but you can get this software. I mean, if you know someone or if you're very handy with computers and torrent sites, you can get Packet Tracer. Um, but that's beside the point. Um, so, or, you know, if you're planning on going on and getting your CCNA and CCNP and so forth and so on, you can start going online to eBay or something like that and purchasing the actual Cisco switches and Cisco routers for this. I mean, the choice is yours, but like I said, when I took the CCNT, I did not have anything physical. I did everything with the simulator. Um, now, as far as the instructor and the cost, uh, Chris Bryant is $44 a month. And I'm sorry, it's just $44 flat out price. You download the videos and they're yours. With Jeremy Chera, they are $99 a month and it's reoccurring. But with CBT Nuggets, you don't just get him. You get all the other instructors and all the other fields they teach, whether it be Citrix, VMware. You get the whole gamut. Pretty much, CBT Nuggets is an IT powerhouse when it comes to video training so you get it all with the $99 a month but like I said it is reoccurring so if you don't cancel it it's gonna charge you another $99 and another $99 you get the point so the cost effective way would have been to go to Chris Bryant for $44 a month and you can pause the video and take down these websites or I may even put them in the description for you um, mind you I, I have no financial influence I'm not, I'm not getting any financial gain from telling you about these instructors it's just just my personal opinion um and that's all it is but like i said guys it shouldn't take you more than 30 days to prepare for this exam if you study maybe an hour or two per night uh it's it's a hard exam but once you listen to these instructors and and follow them step by step it will come it, be, it will become second nature and be pretty easy to you um, I passed this exam maybe two years ago and I did awesome I mean it was it was very few questions I missed on this test guys and, and I'm just being honest you know I'm not the smartest person in the world so I, I, I know you guys can do it also um, I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you like comment and subscribe and there will be more videos to come thanks